Oh hi, so I am doing one of those like story time video things that all the YouTubers are doing and uh, this story actually happened on January 28th. I recorded this, I had recorded this video at like, you know, sometime in the evening um, after this event had happened at like 2 o'clock in the morning so I was still on like an adrenaline run and um, I think I had, because I was still like all shaky and stuff from it, and in the story I don't mention how shaky I was during the whole event, um, but uh, yeah, this, I, I guess I had decided not to post it just because I was still really freaked out and whatnot, but rewatching it now, I kind of want to post it, so this is one of the many stories of different places that we've lived and uh, we are still living in the exact same place that this event happened. We are still trying to move out but um, that's an ongoing work in, pro work in progress. But uh, I hope you enjoy this story and I may post more on our crazy living situation. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Oh hi, so I'm kind of sitting in front of the windows because it's like perfect lighting right now. Um, I did already kind of film this, but it was in the other room right on the windowsill and my window was open and all you could hear was the highway, so I'm redoing this. Um, and it was way too long, so I was going to make it on all of the crazy things that have happened in different houses that we've lived in um, but that was like a 20 minute video so I'm just gonna go with what happened last night because I'm still like completely freaked out and I think all my pets know it because they're hanging really close near me and like even my ferret is and she, usually she just kind of disappears um, but uh, yeah okay so um, Last night uh, was, uh, I mean, we have, we've had lots of crazy things happen to us in different homes, but this for sure was the worst. Um, so, of course, we're sleeping, and then it's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning, and um, someone starts banging on the door, and my boyfriend's, of course, like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, what? And um, he was in his boxers, so he was trying to get pants on. And um, I, the person was just banging and banging and banging. So I finally get up, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll answer the door. And I was like, what do you want? Like, <laughs> it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And they're like, where's the landlord? And I was like, not in this apartment. Um, they live, you know, on a different floor and stuff. And... Um, then they start asking for someone else that lives here, and I was like, no, sorry, dude, you got the wrong apartment. And it was, uh, this is a girl, and I was like, no, sorry, you got the wrong apartment, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> wrong place and whatnot, and she, I was like, "Good night, like, <laughs> bye, like, go away. And, um, so she leaves, and then she comes back, and, um, is knocking on the door, like, crazy, like, banging, like, on my worst line, he's like, what the fuck, and, like, gets up, and, um, goes to the door, and he's like, what the hell do you want, like, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning, like, go away, like, you got the wrong apartment, and, um, I guess for her, when she saw me open the door the first time, she th thought I was someone she knew, and, um, or something, and she's like, looking for me, like, thinking I'm someone else, and she's like, where's blah, 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 and he's like, yeah, you got the wrong apartment, this person doesn't live here, and stuff, and, um, the only reason I got back up was because she started forcefully trying to get in the door, like, she was holding onto the door frame while my boyfriend was trying to push her out because it's her apartment, like, you <laughs> you're not invited and she's like trying to force her way in and my boyfriend's trying to push her and she's like holding onto the door frame and so I get up to try and be the peacemaker and be like okay what the hell like what do you want like and she starts calling me like 
I don't know, like Angela or something. And she's like, Angela, don't you remember me? Like, you know, or Angela lives here or blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, 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 she doesn't. No, I don't know who this is. And then she starts calling me like some other name. She's like, it's me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like the same name, just kind of, uh, I mean, like, even though I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? I'm not gonna say her name. She's like, blah, 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 this is me, you know, don't you remember me? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't know who you are. And she starts like freaking out. She's like, um, she's like, don't, it, it's me, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, starts completely just freaking out. Like, and then she starts calling me like another name, like, like Katie or, you know, <laughs> some just some other name and I was like no you, it's the wrong place and she's like we went to school together and I was like no we didn't I don't know you and I was like what school did you go to and she says the name of the school and I was like I've never been to that school in my life and I was like can you please leave it's two o'clock in the morning boyfriend's got to work in the morning of course he doesn't actually have to work in the morning but I mean it's 2 30 in the morning who wants to be up at 2 30 in the morning I was like dude we had you know we're working and then the, I think we kind of realized that she's completely drunk like to the point she probably has no idea was uh, what if what happened last night like in the morning she has no idea what happened um because I mean she was calling she had no idea she wasn't functioning properly like she had no idea who I was or what was going on or like she just she, she didn't really realize that she was at the wrong apartment so we couldn't really um talk her into leaving like hey come on you know it's two o'clock in the morning can you please leave like I was like can you please just go and like she's like completely freaking out and of course the only reason I got up and you know tried to you know calmly you know handle things was because she was starting to come in forcefully and I didn't want you know um it to be forceful or like you know people getting pushed around and stuff and she just wasn't getting it she was just so drunk that there was no way she was getting it and um of course she's been forceful so I'm just kind of staying back a little bit like just so that I don't get you know pushed around or anything and then um like we're, we've, we're both like kind of yelling now and I think maybe some people down the hall like are like poking their heads out like what the hell and um She's, uh, she's just freaking out, thinking I'm some, she's just completely obsessed with the fact that I'm probably some person that she knows, and at one point, I made her cry, <laughs> being like, no, I don't know who you are, and she's like, you don't know who I am, I was, like, completely crying, and I was like, I know you're completely drunk, and I shouldn't feel bad to make you cry, but I don't know who you are, and stuff, and, um, so eventually she starts trying to come into the apartment again and she's like forcing her way in still kind of being like no you're this person you're this person and I was like no 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 you need to leave like can you please leave and like um my boyfriend's even like okay you need to get out and kind of like you know putting his hand out kind of being like okay get out like move like um at one point I was like you know you can come back in the morning and try and convince me who you are but you know it's two o'clock in the morning like go away like and um she's just completely out of it and um so at one point my boyfriend finally had to come in between us because she's like he's like can you please leave and she's like oh I'll go soon and I was like no you'll go now <laughs> and she's like oh well I'll go soon like I just want a handshake and she like goes to put her hand out I was like no you're drunk you've been really forceful so I was like no can you just leave like just leave like, I know I was, you know, I was maybe overreacting over a handshake, but she'd been really, like, really forceful and, like, tr just trying so hard to get into the apartment. And I was just like, no, can you just leave, like, this is, like, what, 20 minutes of this? Half an hour of this? Like, just go, like, and, um, uh, so my boyfriend, like, comes in between us. He's like, no, just go, like, leave, and... Um, she starts, like, pushing him to get into the apartment, so he finally just, poof, like, shoves her out the door, like, you know, shoves her just enough to get her to go backwards enough to get her away from the 
holding onto the door frame and stuff so we can close the door and lock it. And I was like, oh my god, like, she started yelling, you know, I can, you know, charge you for assault and, you know, whatever for him shoving her, but it was just, you know, it was, she was being forceful trying to get into our house and, um, stuff like, it, we didn't hurt her or anything, it was just to get her away, enough away from the door that we could close it and just be like, okay, good night, like, you're too drunk for us to reason with you, and, um, so we, we pushed her out, and then, um, we go crawl back into bed, and then she comes back, <laughs> she comes back, <laughs> and is banging on the door again, banging on the door again, and I get up, and my boyfriend's like, just ignore her, and I, lo like, look out the little peak hole, and I was like, uh, like, go away, <laughs> and then go back to bed, and, while we're laying in bed, I can hear her trying to open the door, but of course it's the top bolt is locked, and she's like trying to get in, and I'm like, I'm so glad the door is locked right now, like, oh my god, and um, I think, like, we texted the landlord and stuff, and I mean, we didn't call the cops because we one of us would have to try and get out of the apartment to go down and meet the cops to get in because there's um, no way for them to get in unless the landlord was awake. So um, we didn't really call the cops. I mean, uh, <laughs> wasn't much else we could do. Um, of course, I got mad at my boyfriend for have shoving her and stuff and he's like well I need to get her out of our apartment she wasn't welcome of course like I said she was really forcefully trying to get in just obsessed with the fact that I was somebody she knew which I have no idea who she is and um my boyfriend ended up being awake until like four in the morning from adrenaline rush and I I guess I fell asleep before him and I've been awake all day just kind of like <sighs> still completely freaked out. My pets are hanging around me um, after he's gone to work. And but like um, the whole like assault, her being like, "Oh, well, I can charge you for assault." It wasn't that bad, honestly. I could back him up and be like, "And there's like a, a law thing about um, if it's your property, you, it's." Um, it's legal for us to have, you know, kind of pushed her away from the door to be able to close it, and that's what we did, like, um, and, I mean, I could back him up and be like, well, and, I mean, nothing's gonna happen, I'm sure she doesn't even remember what happened, and it's been a whole day of nothing, no landlord calling us or anything like that, so, um, um, it was perfectly fine, uh, like, he, I mean, I got mad at him because um, I don't believe in, you know, having to, you know, push people, but she's a lot bigger than me, and he was just trying to protect our home and us, and um, it just kind of, you know, shoving her was just enough to scare her, so, um, well, startle her enough to get her away from the door so we could close it and just go back to bed because... <laughs> And then apparently there was people outside yelling, and even our neighbors on the other side were like, shut up, like, go away, like, <laughs> I'm so done living in this building.